praying together, agreeing together, crying out together, standing in the gap together. And we're going to do that again tonight. So tag somebody, remind somebody, host a party, a watch party, whatever they call that on Facebook. Let people know we're praying. And we'll pray for you. We'll pray for every need. As you begin to share your needs in the comment section right there on Facebook, I'm going to step down to my Facebook in a moment, and I'm going to see your request, and we're going to agree together in prayer tonight. But we want to just wash, have the Holy Spirit wash over us and cleanse us. Oh, the Word says that the Lord even sings over us songs of deliverance. <laughs> songs of deliverance. So Holy Spirit, Father God, Sing over us in these few moments as we are preparing our hearts to agree together tonight. And as we are declaring, all I really need is you, Jesus. All we really want is you. All we really need is you. to the one I cry to the one who hides me the one who keeps me in the shadow of his wing the one who is my refuge my strong tower keeps me from pestilence and virus keeps me from sickness and fever and disease you alone you alone Lord you are God alone you are God alone you're unstoppable oh yes you're unstoppable nothing is impossible with you Lord somebody might be on this call tonight on this connection tonight and you're facing something that is impossible with men and yes there are many things impossible with men but there is nothing 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 oh there's nothing impossible nothing impossible with our God Nothing's too hard for you, Lord. Oh, right now receive that word. The power of the Spirit. The power of the God who does the impossible. <laughs> who does the impossible is invading your heart. Invading your situation. Invading your health right now. Invading your finances right now. Thank you, Lord. We need you. We run to the throne of grace tonight. We run to the throne of grace. Because you are our help in time of need. And Lord, we stand in not just for ourselves, but for others tonight. We agree for others tonight. We pray in faith for others tonight to receive the miracle they need. The peace they need. The comfort they need. The hope they need in this moment. In this moment. We thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house 
of the Lord forever and ever. Lord, we thank you that you are our shepherd. Lord, you are our shepherd, Father, that we can call upon, that we can run to. Lord, you are our shepherd, Lord, that, Father, we can cast our cares upon you and you love us like no other can. Father, we honor our shepherd and we are grateful, Father. You are our great shepherd, Father. You are our protector, Lord. You are our uh, guidance, Lord. You are our grace. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that, Father, in the book of John, you are called the good shepherd, the good shepherd that we can call upon, that we can lean upon, that we can always cast our cares upon. And, Lord, we grateful. We are grateful. In Hebrews, you are called the great shepherd, our great protector, our guidance, our peace. And, Lord, as the song was just sung that we want to come closer to you, Father, and, Lord, we want to, to, to just cast our cares upon you. And, Father, we just thank you, Father, for your goodness and your mercy. And first, Peter, you are the chief shepherd. And Lord, we know that you are always with us and you, are, you will carry us, Lord, through the valley. Father, you're the only one that will go with us and take us through the valley, Father. And Lord, we are grateful that we have a God that we can call upon during these times, that we can lean upon, that we can share our grace upon and share our needs upon, Father, and you are gracious unto us. Father, we thank you, Lord, that, Father, you lead us down the right path. And, Lord, you lead us, Father, to the place of rest. You lead us, Father, to the green pastures, that, Lord, we can cast our cares upon you when we are down and we have nothing. We can call upon you, Father, and you will bring us to the green pasture. So, Lord, we just lift you up, Father, and, Lord, we worship you, Lord, and we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, that, Father, as you bring us through, as you bring us through this COVID-19, Father, as you bring us out of this, Lord, we thank you that, Lord, there is a freshness that you will pour out upon us. Thank you, Lord, Father, for pouring out a fresh grace over us. Thank you, Lord, Father, for pouring out your fresh love upon us, Father. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that, Father, there will be a fresh peace upon us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that, Father, there will be fresh strength in us, Father. And, Lord, we just thank you that, Lord, you will pour out your fresh healing over us. Thank you, Lord, Father, for a fresh circulatory system. Thank you, Lord, Father, for a fresh respiratory system. Thank you, Lord, Father, for fresh cells being developed. Thank you, Lord, Father, for fresh joints, Father, for fresh muscles. Lord, we just thank you that, Father, when you bring us out of this, and as we go into the day of Pentecost, Father, we are looking, Lord, for the freshness freshness of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for a fresh deliverance. Thank you, Lord, Father, for fresh wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, as we cast our cares upon you, Father, you will bring us out with freshness. Thank you, Lord, Father, for fresh mind, fresh understanding, fresh knowledge, fresh wisdom, fresh ingenuity, fresh creativity lord we just thank you that lord you are bringing us higher in the name of jesus father as we lean upon our shepherd we thank you lord that father the valley will not last forever but lord you say you will bring us through the valley and lord when you bring us through the valley lord you will bring us higher and stronger than we were when we went in and so lord we just cast our cares upon you lord we are grateful, Lord, to be in your presence. And, Lord, we look to you who is the author and finisher of our faith. So, Lord, we cast all of our cares upon you. Thank you, Lord, Father, for those who are watching right now, Lord, Father, Lord. And as the prayer requests come through, Father, as we pray over the needs, we just thank you, Lord, Father, for a fresh move of Jesus. Fresh move of the Holy Spirit. Fresh deliverance and guidance. Thank you, Lord, for taking us higher, higher in you, Father, as we are in your presence. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that, Father, as we lean upon you, you are renewing our strength. 
Thank you, Lord, Father, for freshness. Freshness. The old things have been passed away. Behold, all things have become new. We're looking towards the future. Father, we just thank you, Father. As we go through, Father, you are strengthening us. And that, Lord, we've been drawn closer to you. Closer to you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just give you the honor and the praise. We give you the glory. All glory belongs to you. Thank you, Lord, Father, as the testimonies come forward of what you have done and what you are doing. Thank you, Lord, that our faith, Lord, is growing stronger in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless your wonderful name. And, Lord, we are grateful and we thank you, Lord, for your freshness, yes. the fresh move of Jesus. And thank you, Lord, that as we look at Psalms 23, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for you are always with us. And we thank you in your precious name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We're going to agree together tonight. For those of you that have sent in your prayer requests, we're going we're gonna to start agreeing in prayer together. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I want to start with a request that was sent to me by email. This is a pastor's wife. Her name is Linda. Father, tonight we pray for Linda. Lord, her, her, uh, her husband uh, all is a, uh, has Parkinson's disease, and he's in the ministry. He's a pastor. Touch her, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Touch Linda right now. We agree that Linda will be healed in Jesus' name, that you will, you know the condition in her body, and we believe you, Father, tonight that she is going to be healed, that you are visiting her right where she's at. Lord, that the, whatever the symptoms are, they're going to be healed. They're going to go away in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you tonight for touching Myra in the name of Jesus. You know what's going on in Myra's life. And we agree together in prayer right now for Myra to be touched and to be healed, to be restored in every way in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we believe you. Father, thank you that you're strengthening Ingrid who started treatments uh, this week that you're giving her strength, you're restoring blood counts, you're restoring immunity, you're restoring just strength and 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 uh, and, and and circulation in her body, and just function is being restored and refreshing for her in the name of Jesus. Thank you right now, Father, for touching Ingrid right now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. My friend's daughter, somebody saying, my friend's daughter Ashley. Lord, touch Ashley. She's in route right now to an ER somewhere with a, a irregular heartbeat and pain in her leg. We ask you to touch her. Touch Ashley right now in Jesus' name. We believe you right now for touching Ashley in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. She is healed. She is restored in Jesus' name. She's restored in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. So, uh, pray for my friend's mom who is in the hospital with pneumonia and now they have discovered a mass in her lung that might be possibly be cancer this lady's name is Vivian father right now touch Vivian in the name of Jesus touch her restore her God restore her lungs to perfect function healing burn out cancer if that's what's going on touch her in her body right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, Lord, we agree right now for Vivian, and we thank you for touching your Father in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Request coming in, say, pray for my friend's son, whose name is Aaron. Lord, touch Aaron right now. He's lost his way. Lord, awaken his heart. Reveal the hope that is Christ. Reveal the hope that comes through your son Jesus to Aaron right now. Touch him. Awaken him. Arrest his mind. Reveal 
your love to him right now through somebody. Touch somebody to go to Aaron and minister to him, and, and he will respond in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We're praying for Peter, a firefighter. He is at home, but he is still fighting COVID-19 virus at his home. Lord, touch Peter right now. Lord, here's a man that is laid as, lays his life on the uh, his life on the line to help others and to rescue others and to rush into dangerous situations. And Lord, now he's been infected with COVID-19. Touch him right now in the name of Jesus. Touch him in his body. Burn that virus out. Restore his health. Restore him to his family in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We agree right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. If you have a prayer request, send it in right now. We're going to pray for you. We're going to agree with you in prayer. Put it in the comments. I'm watching it right now. and We're going to stand in faith and in agreement with you together. Father, we are thanking you right now. We are thanking you for an, a, a renewal of your spirit a renewal of the fire, a renewal of the baptism of your spirit and an outpouring on this Pentecost Sunday. Father, there are churches around America and around the world that your spirit has has confirmed in their spirits this Sunday, Pentecost Sunday, is most significant. Open up, gather together, worship together, and Lord, we are doing just that. And we know you're going to visit us in a powerful way. We are coming out of our own upper rooms, if you will. We're coming out of quarantine. We're coming out of being shut in. Lord, just as Israel was, just before the exodus, they were shut in for Passover. And the, and the plague passed over them. And you brought them out. And you delivered them out of Egypt. And they came out. Everyone that was sick was healed. Everyone that was feeble was strengthened. Lord, you, you, the, the, the wealth of Egypt was thrown at their feet. They came out wealthy, prosperous, whole and well out of that quarantine, out of that time of being shut in. Lord, we believe you again that we're going to come out. We're going to come out of this time uh, restored, renewed, blessed, healed, whole, refilled and filled. And, and, just, and, and just baptized again as they were on the day of Pentecost. So across this land, Lord, let the day of Pentecost be an outpouring among churches like we've never known before, something that only you can do in the name of Jesus. We believe you, Father. We believe you, Father. Lord, that uh, I believe that anything and everything the devil has done, you're going to outdo, you're going to overdo, you're going to overthrow in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we believe you tonight across America, city by city, Lord, church by church. Bring healing uh, to where there is unrest. Bring healing where there is anxiety. Bring healing where there is a, a demonstration or misunderstanding. Lord, bring healing uh, to cities that are uh, uh, just in turmoil, we pray, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, bring peace, O oh Lord, we ask. Peace and calm and restoration. Restore relationships, Lord, in communities across this land. Lord, that communities will understand they need the church. They need the body of Christ to, and the church to be open, to function, and to serve like never before. So thank you, Father. We thank you tonight, Lord. We believe you tonight, Lord. We stand in faith Believing you, O oh God, that you are hearing our prayers tonight, that you are answering us tonight. And we worship you. We exalt your name, Lord. We thank you that something powerful that only, only heaven can send is going to come. As the old hymn of the church says, O oh Lord, send the fire, send the power, and baptize us, everyone, again this Sunday across this land, we pray, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for continued leadership, for continued wisdom for our president and those making decisions. 
They need to be covered in prayer, not prayed for one time, but covered in prayer in the name of Jesus, Lord. Cover them, keep them, speak to them, give them wisdom from above each and every day. And Father, I thank you, Father, that as information is, is released, Lord, there is more truth coming forward. Lord, we don't want to be deceived and we reject lies and we reject uh, 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 um, uh, political uh, talking points, if you will. We want the truth because only the truth can set people free. Only the truth sets people free. So, Lord, let the truth prevail in the midst of this epidemic or pandemic. Let the truth prevail in Jesus' name. We desire and long for your truth. Hallelujah. And we believe you for truth in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, pray for a family whose father, who lost their father on Saturday, last Saturday, a father that passed away. Touch this family. You know who they are, Father. You know where they are. Comfort them. Bring comfort and peace to them as they, as they uh, walk through the valley of the shadow of death and releasing this loved one into your presence, Lord. Minister to them your comfort and your peace during this time, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We agree together. We believe you, Father. We are standing in the gap one for another tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Encourage us in your spirit, O oh God. Open our vision to expand our vision Lord, increase our influence, we pray, in this time as we come forth, as we come out to, again, as we come out this starting this Sunday, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, how tragic is the, is the situation of the, of the killing of a man in, in uh, Minneapolis by the police. How tragic. Lord, that is a story that's just dominating the airwaves right now. Bring peace to Minneapolis, to the residents, to the community. Bring peace, Lord, in the midst of this storm. Lord, bring peace, I pray, among races and relationships. Oh God, let justice come forth in this situation. Let justice prevail because justice is blind. Certainly it is colorblind. Justice must prevail in this situation. But fill that city, the residents of that city that have been affected by this uh, unfortunate, uh, unfortunate um, death, of, if you will, at the hands of the police. Lord, just bring peace, we pray. We ask for you to bring peace. We ask for you to just quench the lie, quench the 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 opportunity the devil is trying to gain here. Shut the door in the name of Jesus in the face of the devil that the people of Minnesota, of Minneapolis especially, can begin to turn to you and be healed and this city be restored and peace be restored. Lord, may strengthen the church more than ever in that area to speak with a clear voice, a unified voice of reconciliation in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in this time right now in the hearts of each and every one that are connected to this. Thank you for what you're doing in the hearts of each and every one that are connected to this time, this meeting. You're ministering to them, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Refreshing, strength, rest. Lord, there are weary parents, weary caregivers, supernatural rest for them tonight and refreshing. Thank you, Father, right now. Holy Spirit, right now in these moments, thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All pain be healed. All, all joint problems be healed in the name of Jesus. Circulation be healed in Jesus' name. Minds clear up. Job opportunities come in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We worship you together. We wait upon you together, Holy Spirit. We wait upon you, Lord. Speak to every heart right now. Speak to every heart right now. We are not alone. We are not alone. You are with us in this time. You have been with us. And you are preparing in each of us, Lord, to renew gifts, renew anointings. Lord, give us fresh new vision, greater influence and impact than ever before. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We worship your name. We worship your name. We worship your name. Heart problems being healed in Jesus' name. Heart problems being healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Family restoration. Thank you, Father. Family relationship that is estranged uh, being restored. A text is coming. A call is coming. An email is coming. A card is coming. There's, there's coming a, a line, a connection to restore in this situation of this, of this estrangement in this family. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. Thank you, Father, for this time that we have had in your presence. Thank you for the power of agreement. It's powerful. Lord, sometimes the prayer of agreement changes things. It opens things. It releases things. Because you said where two or three agree that anything and everything we ask of the Father, he would grant it. So, Lord, we're believing that tonight. We're believing that tonight because we have agreed in prayer together that you are releasing from heaven every good thing that we need, every answer that we need is coming from heaven tonight. Hallelujah. And Lord, we are comforted in knowing that, that we have affected destiny by this time in prayer tonight. We have affected things, changed things by this time that we've had together tonight. Hallelujah, because you can only move in answer to prayer. You can only speak, you can only heal in answer to prayer. So Lord, we thank you for moving through answered prayer and by answered prayer tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for refreshing and renewal and rest for every home and every family right now in Jesus' name. We believe you and we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now, Lord, give us each one opportunities to be light and hope, to be peace and love and grace an encouragement to somebody. Give us opportunities that we would never have had before to minister your hope to others, to be an example of what it means to be a follower of Christ in these times. Lord, let our peace be an example, our joy, our contentment be an example to so many around us each day. Give us opportunity to share why we have that peace why we believe in, in Jesus, why we love Jesus, and why we serve Him. Because this time, if this time is any time at all, this is harvest time. The fields are white. This is harvest time. And 
Lord, send us forth. Let us come out of this time of quarantine sent to a world, sent to neighbors, friends, co-workers, sent, oh God, that we would see the world around us very differently. That that is our mission now as never before because the time is running out. The soon coming of Christ is upon us. And Lord, we've got to get everybody in heaven, give them the opportunity to have their name written in the book of life as never before. It is an urgent hour. So Lord, let us come out with an urgency in our own testimony, in our own witness as we've never known before in this time. And I thank you, Father, tonight. I thank you, Lord, for what you have done and what you are doing as we have joined together in agreement and prayer tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Increase our expectation for the miraculous. Signs, wonders, and miracles always point to Jesus. Lord, let us go forth with the gospel of the kingdom and as Jesus preached it, signs, wonders, and miracles followed after him. And that is our cry, O oh God, because this lost world needs the hope that only Christ can give. Show yourself mighty, O oh God, mighty, all-powerful in this time. From this day forward, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let me say the Lord bless you. If you are in the area of Acts 2 Worship Center, our doors will open, certainly with some restrictions, with social distancing and, and uh, hand sanitizing and other things, etc. But our doors open this Sunday, 1030 a.m. We would love to have you worship with us if you are part of this area and you live in this area. It'll just be our sanctuary. Our nursery and preschool and children's ministries do not open yet, but our sanctuary will be open for worship on Pentecost Sunday 1030 a.m. Of course, it's going to stream online. We invite you to connect at our Facebook page or at our website. Either way, you can find us this Sunday morning at 1030 and every Sunday morning at the same time, 10.30 a.m. But one way or another, we're gonna to join together in worship this Pentecost Sunday at 10.30 a.m. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, continue to make his presence shine upon you and through you in Jesus' name until we meet again. God bless you and good night. <laughs>